Even pretty toenails get beat up sometimes. Today you'll see a pretty transformation and learn the importance of protecting your feet and how dirt trapped in the cracks of your heels can cause big problems and what to do to reverse that. My client also shares an unfortunate event about a friend's toes near the end of the video and you'll see how pretty her feet look with her toenails polished, so stay tuned. My client has very painful bottoms of her feet and to me that's an indication she has dirt and mica trapped in the cracks of her heels. So I'm applying a lot of callus remover to the area so we can remove as much excess skin as possible. And remember, if you only want to see the shortened, condensed version of the big toenail cleaning, I have a second channel. It's called Meticulous Manicurist Satisfying Toenail Cleaning. And in a few months, when my acrylic line is finished, I'll be posting all of the acrylic nails videos on that channel as well. So I hope you go subscribe to that channel. Even though her toenails are already pretty short, they're jagged and uneven and super short, so they're going to be hard to file with the fingernail file, and they have trapped dirt underneath the free edge that you can see that darkness area, so it's easier to remove when the toenails are cut shorter, so I'm just going to try to even them up with the nippers so it's easier to file and shape. And on this middle toenail, you can see your cuticle area, see that skin that's kind of growing up stuck to her toenail. Um, that is the cuticle, the excess part of the cuticle that needs to be removed. People ask me all the time, well, I thought it wasn't safe to remove cuticles. Well, we're not really removing cuticles. You're removing the excess non-living tissue that is adhered to the nail plate. The Meticulous Manicurist Network is growing, so if you haven't checked the map for a nail technician near you, uh, please do that on meticulousmanicurist.com. And I want to remind all cosmetologists that you can also take the course, and the course is available in 11 languages.
if you're wondering how pretty normal toenails um, without any serious issues get into conditions like this it's very normal and I filmed my feet so I, I'm going to edit it soon so hope you're subscribed to see when I upload that video of what terrible condition my feet got into during the whole moving process to Arizona but this is real life and you guys get a glimpse of people's circumstances and they're nice enough to let me film it to share with the world to help other people and everybody's just busy and we always put ourselves last so I'm hoping to share a little bit of insight and to give you some faith and trust in yourself that you too can get your toenails in better condition at home. Your he works in our warehouse full time. Yep. He used to work here full time before we opened the warehouse. As what? Front desk inventory. Did he? Mm-hmm. all the kids have a, a bit to do with the business, but three of the girls are there full time, and my son. Whoops. And, uh, it's pretty, it's, it's, when it's intense, it's intense, but then when we realize how fortunate we are to be able to do what we do, then it's... Yes. It's worth it. Is it what? Oh, wow. They're all Fusion. Yep. Well, I'm healthy otherwise, but it was funny because 
her sister kept saying, are you sure that's how much you weigh? If you go to the other salons and they don't really take their time and clean out the buildup, it I'm sure just keeps adding up. Mm -hmm. yep. Through conversation with this client, we've determined that she walks barefoot a lot and that's and how she gets so much dirt underneath much her toenails and her heels. I actually think she's having an allergy to the material her flip-flops are made out of because the same thing happens to me when I wear flip-flops made out of that black foamy material. So one of her goals is going to be to switch the type of flip-flops that she wears. I'm gonna give you a close-up so you can see how careful you need to be. We're only aiming for that little white lip of skin. You go nice and slow, and we're going to trim that off. You don't want to get any of the living tissue. Uh. So right now our feet don't look that bad, really, but as soon as you see the skin coming off, you'll see all of the discoloration and stains from the dirt and mica. So you just like to go barefoot? Or you're just running outside Let's and you talk don't about the barefoot. throw it on your shoes? Um, I do think you seem to just, I don't, can't say I like it. As much as I just do it easier to run out and do something before, you know, without putting shoes on. Does that even include in the house? No, I'm barefoot in my house, okay. but not outside. Not good for you, probably. Okay. It's not. <laughs> Chapter 13. This is why you do not go. <laughs>
I'll have to tell Joanne because this would be a good trip for her. But we have the same thing with the just the calluses that are hard to. I probably go by far go barefooted more than she does. Well, the mica that's in dirt, it sinks into those little small cracks in your feet and then it gets stuck and it just irritates your skin and your skin can become irritated and red and swollen and sometimes your feet will just like ache. Yeah. That's usually what that is, but your body won't heal dirt into your skin. So the cracks aren't gonna go away until all of that's out of there. Now, you know, I maybe the last year I started having that restless, what they call restless, restless leg. leg syndrome, yeah. I hate that, I had it too. What'd you do to get rid of it? Chiropractor. Really? Yeah, it's your lower back's pressing on strange nerve. But when I was pregnant with my youngest, I had it. The whole probably last four months of my pregnancy and I couldn't sleep I couldn't lay down because as soon as I laid down it started it was horrible He probably has perfect feet. Here I'm using the pink sanding cap to remove the skin where all those tiny cracks are in her feet. Um, we have to get the buildup off so the Fisher cream can penetrate in and lift the dirt out of the cracks. You can find the Fisher cream on my site as well. And if your feet and heels are so sore that it hurts to walk, switch your shoes that you're wearing because you may be allergic to the material they're made you out joke of. Joke on that towel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to look. Yeah. I don't. This week's most liked and featured comment is from Ivory's Human. She says, you'd expect Mr. Meticulous to have the cleanest sidewalls, but I'm glad he doesn't. Makes some of the best content ever. Yes, it certainly does, doesn't it? Thanks so much for your comment and patronage to my channel. I appreciate the participation, and I'm so glad that he has the best sidewalls, too. So we do go longer between his pedicures to make sure we have good content for you. He actually um, wouldn't let me film his last pedicure I gave him because they were so bad. We had no time to take care of his feet during the whole transition and the move to Arizona, but I have filmed one recently.
lawyer. A doctor. Older. A doctor. Yeah, if you guys need help, you got you got a network. But are they all called cold water? Yeah. Because she's working with delicate toes. <laughs> <laughs> using the meticulous manicurist diamond mini cone bit to help remove the stuck on skin on the nail plate. This bit does come in the favorite bit kit. How many followers do you think you have on your videos? Um, oh, subscribers or how many views do I get a month? Oh, I don't get it. So I have 585,000 subscribers and I get around 4 million views a month. My subscribers are now up to 790,000. No, this was filmed in 2021. So mm -hmm. Yep. You get ad revenue when they play ads on your videos. Oh. 4 million a month? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching, but I didn't look at the numbers. Yeah. Are you the only one that does manicures and pedicures here? No. I have two other girls that are working when I'm not. We wear this pedicure tub out. <laughs> yeah, I told him you've got people from all over. One came from California, wasn't it, for a birthday? Mm hmm. We went to Detroit and came to get her nails because we're not that far from Detroit. I wanted to play in a day to work. Done, went to Ikea. <laughs> and then Didn't you go to Ikea the first time you came? And then go to the mall, that one mall. Um, I don't want to say Rochester Hills. What is that one up there? It's got the aquarium in it. Somerset? Yeah, it's huge. You got like the outlet malls for um, fossil.
So what are you doing between coming up here? No, do you go to anybody else? Yeah. Or you only come here? because her last appointment is when she was sick. She had to cancel at the last minute. Yeah, Michaela got it too. She had a couple days right after me. Oh my gosh. And then Kenneth got it. Because they were going to try to still do their appointments. And I'm like, mm, no way. I'm not spreading the love. Do you know where you got it from? Not really. I was so happy with myself going through the whole year. The whole year right to the end you know during the whole big crisis of yeah COVID, yeah and i get it no how many of you are planning a vacation this spring I know travel plans are put off for so long, so I do hope that you get to go someplace nice. And if you're going to have auto and toe shoes, I hope you give yourself a pedicure. If you can't find one of my certified meticulous manicurists near you, remember to check my map on meticulousmanicurist.com for someone. And tell me in the comments where you're planning on going. And have fun and safe travels.
another reason why soaking the feet is so important. I want you to watch the skin that flies up into the air. It goes up but you can see the debris and it falls down to the towel. When the skin is wet and moist, it makes the dust particles big enough that you won't inhale it. When the foot is dry, the dust particles float in the air for hours and hours, and the microns are so small you can't even see them. everywhere. Did you bring flip-flops? I have my sandals. Eleven? Don't give me that high school look. best body. high school your senior ratings I 
also got most likely to find gullible man that does not want children to have five children with. He was absent-minded, remember? <laughs> <laughs> What's the coolest thing you've seen lately that you were like, wow, this was fun to fix? Um, I don't know. There's too many. <laughs> really? Yeah. They're all different. They're so different. Mar Who was it? Autumn showed me a picture last night of a foot that was covered with fungus. Like, it, had, it looked like fingers growing out of it. But they were like this long. Oh. My one of my friends' moms was a bad diabetic, and she was non-compliant, and she had this little dachshund dog. She just loved her little dog, and she got neuropathy so bad she couldn't feel anything in her feet, and that dog chewed off two of her toes. What? Oh. She didn't know it. She didn't know it. Dog was down there just, you know, looking at her feet, and she didn't know it. But he chewed off two toes. Oh my God! One, two, three. One, two. That's crazy. <laughs> well, there's five over here, but there's only three over here. Well, she must have been bleeding everywhere. Yeah, it was bleeding. Why they like diabetics to wear white socks because even if they stub their toe and it might be bleeding, they can't see it. Right. Okay, I'll take that foot. Put the other one up? Yes. I mean, and she was the kind personality-wise, she just laughed. So it was hilarious. She didn't live much longer after that. For big toes, yeah. yeah. where it, it, the nail is produced and it helps them grow faster. So he has been nourishing my nails like a baby. So we're going to get back on track. Yes, I heard all the I can't lean over to do it anymore. It's all going to be your fault.
before you apply your nail polish, you should take uh, cotton with acetone and clean off your nail plate. You want to make sure all of the oils and moisture from the water and from lotion for massaging your feet are not in the nail plate. Keep your nail polish on a long time. And keep the dirt out of your heels. <laughs> In addition to applying the Fisher cream to the bottoms of her feet at home, she has an additional homework assignment is to apply cuticle remover around her cuticles to moisturize the skin so the skin doesn't stick to the nail plate as it grows up and the tips of her toes. Blue. His favorite. He's never noticed my toenail polish. Now he's going to be all happy with his new toe. Fun games until your toes rot off. <laughs> you sell a lot of nail polish. Mm -hmm. That's cool. How'd you pick out what kind to use? I wanted a formula that didn't have any carcinogenics or harmful ingredients. Dries fast, stays on long, doesn't stain your nails. Is that hard to find? No, you just adjust your formula. I mean, to find your nail polish? She sells it here. Well, I know, but I'm just saying the ingredient. Like, no, you work with um, the chemists. Do a lot of them have carcinogenics in them? Yes. We do. What's, what's a big ugly? Um, toluene and there's like That's a crazy. list of, yeah, there's all, there's all kinds of them. Like California has actually outlawed some of them. So some brands can't be sold in California. Depending on where you live, UK, United States, different agencies have different rules of ingredients for products. And a couple of the biggest offenders for nail polish are dibutyl phthalate, um, toluene, and formaldehyde. And um, they're hardening agents or preservatives, but they're linked to hormonal issues, diabetes, thyroid irregularities, um, eye irritation, kidney or nervous system damage, and um, 
they're just known as carcinogenics. So my brand doesn't have any of these ingredients in it to make sure that you stay healthy. Mine is uh, Fearless Fuchsia. Victorious Violet. Oh, 